Greetings, uh, ARX fans. Now, a little story for you guys. Yesterday I posted a video of a quick quickie comp that I did for the new episode of Axe Ranges S. And a guy on Facebook challenged me to do it in Natron. Now, what I decided to do instead was to do an all-arounder. Which means I'm going to be doing the same comp in two softwares this time. So, yeah. Expect me to do one in Natron and in Fusion as well. I mean, you know, if you're a Natron user, a Nuke user, or heck, even a Fusion user, anybody can comp with this kind of style. So I'm going to be doing today a pixel art composite. And let me just explain to you what it is. It's basically combining VFX with pixel art. Which is something I've been doing since, oh, I don't know, maybe uh, two years from now. You know, two, two years, basically. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking that same composite from yesterday. And I'm going to be pretty much making a full scene of, basically, you know, I'm basically going to be making... The scene of Su Minamoto beating the hell out of Dragus to defend Void. And so, let's begin. I got Natron open. I also got Fusion open. And if you own Nuke, follow along with Natron. Because Natron and Nuke are pretty much carbon copies of each other. Except, of course, Nuke is more advanced. But... We don't care about advancements. All we care about is doing the comp. So let's get started. Um, let's go Natron first. I'm going to put the whole thing full screen. I'm going to drag my little frame here. And there we go. We got Su, Minamoto, and Void Ranger. And now I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to go to Fusion. And I'm going to once again drag the same comp. Except for Fusion, I actually have to determine the actual clip itself so I'm gonna go let's see uh, 315 and 315 and it looks like fusion crashed oh well it happens sometimes you know sometimes uh, there are some things that fusion cannot handle and I guess one frame but I I can fix that all I need to do is bring this frame right here. There we go. So now we have our little frame. So yeah, that was a little minor setback, but hey, at least we fixed the problem, you know? All right, so now we have the same footage in both Natron and Fusion. And just like I said, you could do the same thing with Nuke. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a green screen footage. Now what I did for this image, I pretty much put some sprite sheets on a background. I took uh, some sprites from someone named Maniko who did Suminamoto's sprites, also known as Shizuka. I collaborated myself with my friend Red Hand Productions to make Dragus Ranger. And of course, I created a carbon copy of Red, colored him blue, and put the hat to make Void Ranger. Now, as I said, I'm going to be doing a comp with a green screen footage. And I'm going to be using the same footage as I used last time. This is green screen footage, and what I'm going to do first is... I'm actually going to bring up a merge node. So I'm going to hit tab. I'm going to hit merge. And there we go. I'm going to hit B to there. A to here. I'm going to click OK. All right. That's good. Next, I'm going to go to the green screen. I'm going to hit tab. And I'm going to find a keyer. So let's see. Um... Do they have... I guess not. They don't have Primat. 
but they don't even have key light either. What about a regular keyer? I mean, they have to have something. So, um, let's see. I'm gonna go color. No, let's try screen. I don't think so. What I need here is. Hang on. Let me go. Let's do this. Pick a color. And I'm gonna pick. Hmm. I guess not. Composite, maybe. Mm. Okay, we're almost there. I just need. No, I do not need max. I need screen. There we go. This is what I was looking for. Yeah, you can tell uh, it's not easy to comp between projects, but then again, as I said in the first video, you need to be basically comfortable with every compositor that is given to you. So here we go. This is Natron, and now I'm going, since I have my merge node, I got my screen here. Let's just press play and see what happens. So apparently I'm not getting anything here and I really do not understand why is it, a, is it the fact that I'm missing something is there something that I'm missing here is my real question uh, what if I put some luminance maybe I might put something no no luminance maybe an intermediate damn it uh, hmm. okay I see I see the, uh, the the particle, but what if I turn off? Okay, I need to have these on. Um, if I put it to max, what if I change it to the screen again? But okay, uh, yeah, this is oh okay, maybe not. Um, I need to try. You know what? Change of plans. Let's try a different keyer. I'll go the chroma keyer. I'm going to take this. Okay, why isn't it? Cancel. Take this. There we go. I need... Oh! Alright. So we got something here, but... Is it going to play? Because that's my next concern. Because if this doesn't play, then we're not going to have a good comp with this. Now, alright, so at least we got the green screen removed. But now, how do I add that particle system into, let's see here, maybe a key gain? No, I don't think so. Uh, intermediate... Let's see, source alpha normal. Let's try that. Maybe if we if we press play. Okay. So we do know. We do know that the we do know that the particle is there. So I'm gonna put a just a quick transform node and then I think I'm gonna do this. Whoops. I'm gonna do Uh, 
All right, so here's the thing. I think we might need to do some color correction after all of this is over. So apparently it could be done with this keyer, the chroma keyer. And you know what I have to say? Hey, at least it's better than, at least it's better than having no key, right? So let's go ahead. Let's play this back. Oh yeah, that's looking much nicer. So we don't really, oops. So apparently we don't really need the color correct. We're pretty much done here. Now we could just put a right node and that's it. That's pretty much it for Natron. Let's move to Fusion. All right, round two, let's fight. So uh, I'm gonna put in the same green screen and the same image. So this one is probably gonna be a bit more easier for me because of course, being a Fusion user for two, for at least two years, being the first compositor that I've been introduced to, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing as I did last time. I'm going to go control space and I'm going to open up the, actually I'm going to go for the merge and then I'm going to go for tab primat. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the primat to my foreground and the primat is going to go right here. So right here we have the primat and we have our green screen footage. I'm just going to do right here. I'm going to go auto compute and our merge now looks like this. And now I'm going to, once again, just like in Natron, I'm going to add a transform node. Let me just um, organize things here. So there we go. We got transform node. We got the primat selected. And we got the green screen footage. We're going to hit play. And of course, because it's the transform node, we're going to invert the transform and we're pretty much going to, okay, actually, you know what? It's not an invert transform we want. We want to flip the horizontally. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take this tool and just like Natron, we're going to pretty much do a rotation. So I'm going to just do this bring it down and boom that's it so now we just recreated the whole thing we recreated everything we did in natron in only a few seconds hit play and now dragus ranger is pretty much taking a huge beating from shizuka's wand and her magical abracadabra And then after that, we can just do a saver node. And there we go. Call it whatever you want, place it wherever you want. And that should do it for this tutorial. So thank you all very much for watching the difference between doing a pixel art comp in Nuke, Natron, and Fusion. The reason why it took longer for me in Natron, as I said, is because I basically stopped using Natron at least a few months ago. And ever since, you know, being with Fusion for the past two years, the majority of those past two years, I, like I said, I pretty much use fusion as my weapon of choice but don't get me wrong natron is a really good software if there is one request though that i would like to add to enria more 3d support if i can import 3d models with their materials their alembics their fbx's 
all those things, if they can have that, then I'll be all set. In the meantime, I think I'm going to stick with Fusion. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.